Hello, thank you so much for clicking today's video. For this one, we're going to discuss the use of inline editing on NetSuite. So inline editing is a feature in NetSuite that enables users like you to update records quickly by changing data directly on the record uh, when you are viewing a list. So let's say, for example, you are viewing list of invoices, list of sales orders, or any records on NetSuite, you will be able to change the data directly in the row of the list page. I think that's a good news for some because, you know, when you see something wrong in the save search and you'd like to edit it or on the result and you'd like to edit it, you will be able to do that using inline editing. So to start uh, this, as I mentioned, this is a NetSuite feature. So we need to enable that feature first. We go to setup company enable features. And then under company you will be able to see inline editing there. This is inline editing and it's now enabled. So let's proceed to checking the list and let's try editing. We're going to view a vendor record. List, relationships, and then vendors. On the vendor record itself, you will be seeing this toggle uh, button. You just click on that one. So when you see an X mark here, it means that inline editing is disabled. So when it's green and check, that means that inline editing is enabled. So just take note that not all data can be edited using inline editing. This is because to, you know, data validation and permission, uh, permission requirements. So for this specific uh, list that we have, we will be able to uh, do inline editing for the category, phone, email, as well as UEN, BRN, and yeah, those are the fields wherein we can edit the values using inline editing. So to edit, you just click on it and then select, and then it will automatically refresh. If we open this vendor, you will be able to see that the category has been updated to 1099 vendor. So let's see another example. Let's say email. I want to update the email of this specific vendor, just the same vendor that I have modified. So I'll add in my email here. There. So after that, let's view. So right now, the email address for this one is still blank, as you can see here. So let's refresh. And as you can see, the email has been automatically populated. So it's like a magic. You can do it from here, and then it will automatically update the project, or it will automatically update the record. Here are the following keystrokes that you can use as well uh, to be more efficient in using inline editing. You can pause this video to learn or to be able to read all of them. So as I mentioned earlier, this is just the default view. It, you can also do this for save searches or you can customize this view if needed and if you would like to edit other fields. But as I mentioned, there are limitations in terms of what specific fields you can edit. The one thing that I can tell you are uh, the fields with this icon the pencil icon, they are definitely editable and then you can edit them using inline editing. So that's it for inline editing. I hope you learned something on NetSuite. And if you'd like to learn more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.